Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. In today's video, I am going to do a what's in my bag video. This is the bag that I bring with me every time I go to my vintage booth. And I used to just throw things into a bag as I needed it. It was super messy. There was no organization at all. So I found that this really works well. So if you have a vintage booth or antique booth, maybe this little system will help you out too. So the first thing in my bag, which is super important, tags. I have my logo on the front of the tag and then my vendor number, item description, price, and SKU number on the back of the tag. Um, I order these from, I'm trying to think where I order them from, some type of printing company, um, the tags. And then I ordered these stamps. So I just stamp the tags myself. I have my logo stamp and then I have um, the SKU and item description stamp on the back. So I found what helps me is putting everything individually in separate bags. That way, if I need something super fast, I see it, I grab it, we're good to go. In my next little bag, I have my sale bag. So I have um, these little tags, which go right on my Bremen Home tags if there's an item on sale. And then if I'm doing a shop sale, I have these big signs here that go throughout the shop. So. If I decide to do that, I have them with me. Super important, if you have an antique or vintage booth, you need these. These are life-changing. You can do a lot of things yourself with these. Furniture sliders. I have moved some really heavy pieces by myself because everything is light as a feather with these things. So furniture sliders, you can get them right off Amazon. Life-changing. And I love the furniture slider so much. I use them at home now, and I feel like I already had a rearranging problem at home and now it's extremely bad because I can move anything I want with these things. I'm like the Hulk. I do sell clothing um, in my shop as well. So again, right off Amazon, you can get a tag gun, which I think it looks more professional when it's actually tagged onto there. I used to use safety pins, but I found this system to be much better. So I have scissors in there. I have extra um, tags in there if I need them, but yes, my tag gun bag. I'm missing two things out of this bag, but I have um, a wood conditioner that I usually bring with me that goes in this bag, and then a hammer, which they're just in the garage right now. Um, but I have nails, which is super important. I'm constantly moving artwork. I have wire for the back of artwork if I don't want to put two holes in the wall and I want to use wire instead, and a rag because you never know when you'll need a bag. Always bring extra business cards with me. I um, ordered and made mine right on Canva. So I have my logo on the front and then all the information and social media pages on the back. Always nice to restock those. You'd be surprised people do take them. I like to bring an air freshener with me just to make your space smell fresh. I like to do it seasonally too. Right now I'm doing Apple of My Pie by Glade. It smells really good, so I'll just spray that throughout the shop and give it a nice fresh scent. I like to bring a bag of candlesticks with me. I find that for my front display, when I put candlesticks in the candlestick holder, they actually sell faster and it just makes your front display look better. So just buy a bulk bag of them and keep them with you. This little bag, I sometimes like to jot down notes and just don't wanna put it in my phone and I like to write it down. And I'm on the lower level in my antique mall, so the service is really spotty down there. So sometimes I will write myself little to-dos or things that I wanna change in my little notebook. And I have pens, markers, and tape as needed. Something that's helped me keep my bag super organized is having a little trash bag. So that way it's not getting messy in there. You have a designated trash area for old tags or whatever. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you missed yesterday's video, we made some Brayman Home holiday merch. I'm really excited to be offering it. I try to switch out um, our apparel pretty frequently. And then I have a classic um, collection that is always in the shop. And the apparel actually does really well. People love to support small businesses and they love to wear fun, creative things. And it's really cool to see people wearing something that you created. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, don't forget to subscribe. I'll have more fun videos coming your way, some sourcing, of refreshing the shop. I have a lot of exciting ideas for this upcoming year, so I hope you guys stick around. I'll see you guys later. Bye!